Hello and welcome to Devlog17. In this Devlog, I will be talking to you guys about party questing, which is otherwise known as co-op questing, or the ability to play with friends, make new friends here on Dragon Ball Apollo, and everything that comes with it. Uh, we're going to get right into that. Let's get right into it. I'm going to show you guys how inviting others to your party works and stuff along those lines. So you can run slash party create to build your own party. Then you will do party invite the player name you can press tab for that um some neat things you could do you could do slash party leave and it will disband your party uh you could do another really easy thing to do is shift right click a player it will create a party and invite them if you don't have a party <clears throat> yeah of course it will create it if you don't have one so it's a super easy way for you to invite players i'm gonna go ahead and switch over to that account uh shift right click to join um, there's other commands as you can see, you can create, invite, invite, cancel. You can transfer ownership, kick the user, you can disband, uh, leave and disband. If you're the owner, we're basically the same thing. You could do slash uh, party accept or join. Uh, you could deny a user's invite. So this, these are um, mostly for the uh, party members. And then party list um, would just list your members. Um, so with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and explain how parties work. Um, first off, let me lower both of these guys' stats up. <laughs> yep. Okay, so first off, if I try and start this quest, you're gonna see the following user is not ready to go. This system is in place to ensure every user can do the quest, okay? Uh, we do have interest in removing it at a later date. However, right now it will remain. We'd like to make it automatic once the leader starts it, but now we're gonna have to. So, my alt ooh, has read it up. And with that, I can start the quest and boom. So obviously the combat's gonna be a little wonky here. Because, yeah. <laughs> um, go ahead and get a couple hits on this account. Uh, don't mind that mini map, that will not be there for you guys. Sorry about that, forgot to remove that. Go ahead and fly up here, bring the other account over. Light is so slow at this level of the game. You guys will not be able to see it. Uh, I guess you can a little bit. Oh, that works perfectly, huh? The tracking camera. Beautiful. <laughs> uh, with that, we're going to go ahead and beat them up. You guys, the rewards uh, will be based on the percent of damage that you do. So the leader has to go claim the rewards. Fly on over here. And uh, an important thing to notice, uh, my alt account or any party member, if they meet the damage requirement they will receive the they will receive the uh unlock for the next quest so we did about 50 50 as you can see pretty perfect that one um you will be receiving the repeat reward with multiplication applied so uh, an example of this would be if this quest gives 75 on repeat it will multiply it by two and then split it between us so we would be getting an even share. However, obviously there's two of us fighting the enemy. The enemies are boosted in combat, not nearly as much as they were before. However, the HP damage, uh, health and combat regen are both uh, changed individually. Damage goes up a little bit, health goes up the most, but nothing crazy, not even doubling per uh, member that you have. So it's a manageable fight, to say the least. And with that being said, uh, you, the player, will also get the first time reward the first time you do the quest. So my alt would claim and get the first time reward as well as the repeat reward. Uh, just a note uh, for anyone who knows TP counts, this is in fact the first time right here. Just a little bug I'm working out, no big deal. So to clarify, everyone will get the repeat rewards. That's how the math is calculated. And then everyone will also get the first time, the first time they do it. So you're not losing out on TP, in fact, um, you would actually end up getting more on your first run just because combined with the repeat. But do keep in mind, uh, the things that prevent carrying are the fact that in a two-man, you have to do 25% of the damage. So, I mean, if you can do 25%, you're probably not too far off from being able to beat them with a little bit of healing in solo play as is. So with that in mind, also, uh, you know, unlocks are not done unless you do 25%, as well as, uh, that being combined with the fact that if my alt did not reach the minimum of 25%, I would only get 
whatever percent I did. So the alt percent is still counted. I'm saying alt, but you know, party member. So if my alt account did 10% damage, I would get the normal repeat because it would not multiply by two. The rewards are multiplied by two, three, and four at this moment. They may change prior to release. Make sure you guys read the change log for any info. Change log, once released, will have the finalized info for the update. Um, this, things are still subject to change at this point on the development. But that being said, um, if my ult did 10%, I would get the normal repeat and I would only get 90. So you are very much losing out in terms of total TP. Your TP is at that point cut in half. So you could technically be in a four man party and the enemy would be buffed to compensate for a four person party. And with that being said, the, um, the rewards would only be you. It, there would be normal rewards for a super strong enemy that was scaled for a four-man party. Um, so I'm sure we could see why that's detrimental. And, uh, you know, the, the focus with this system was not carrying. Obviously, we don't want to add a carrying system. We, we wanted a system to have co-op questing exist and you guys be able to play with your friends because co-op questing is a beautiful thing in every game it's present in. And we honestly think we needed that in the server and I think we've done a pretty good job at incorporating that so with all that being said i hope you guys have enjoyed this devlog i hope we could um shed a little bit of light on the changes to the parties i hope you guys are just excited for co-op gameplay as a whole there's so many changes coming to this uh with this update and i'm super excited to get it to you guys we're working our hardest to wrap it up um where i would say we're around the tech like we're around the end of the testing phase um we're just making sure everything's perfect for you guys you know every every day i'm working my my butt off um doing a crap ton every day the i do little change logs every couple days from our testers and they're all like max discord message limit almost uh so you know we're, we're making constant improvements we're, we're still improving things fixing issues that are even still on the live server all of these things you know um again no release date per usual i'm just letting you guys know it's it's coming um yeah uh thank you all for your patience i appreciate it deeply and yeah uh, i can't wait to get this to you guys uh i'll see you guys when i see you maybe tune into the podcast say hi until then